Hey guys, what's going on? This is Zafaric GJ. You can just call me GJ. And today in this video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make a, or not how to make, but how to port forward for either Cisco or Linksys. I'm not exactly sure like which one or something, but hopefully it'll work. So it's basically for Minecraft and stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure what else it's for besides Minecraft. But once, well, what you need to do first is you need to go um, to your internet browser, right? And then type in 192.168.1.1. Dot one dot one, which is the default gateway. So once you have done that, it's loading a little bit, it's pretty laggy. I haven't used this stuff for in a while, but it'll come up with this and P A S S W O R D. So honestly, I have no idea what this password is because this came how it was like. It was defaulted with my computer so hopefully it would work with you but there's a small possibility that I have no idea but the username is usually admin and then the password is either password um, admin or you just gotta ask somebody you can I don't know but you just log in because that's mine's already preset up so what you have here is all of this stuff here your information my router name is bnet so then when you like have your iphone and stuff you'll see that or if you have something like that and you can tell so once you get to something like this page it may not be exactly like it or close to it you're gonna have to go to somewhere where it says applications or gaming or something like that and click on that and then where it, make sure it has single port forwarding uh, I'm pretty sure that's what you should do because it works. I'm not exactly sure what the different kinds is, but I'm using single port forwarding and it's working perfectly fine. So <laughs> you can actually name this anything you want. I named it Craftables for some reason. I actually named it that maybe when I was 12 or something. <laughs> I don't know. But, to find out what all this stuff is, you can have several of them. But, an external port, an internal, in, internal port, is 25565 for each one for Minecraft. I'll just rename it to Minecraft to help you guys out. Alright, so then go just, I'll just go back right here. Minecraft. I spelled it wrong, but I don't care. I mean, there's capital I, but it's still spelled correctly. Anyway, um... If, if you don't have uh, the option to have both, then make one of each, I, I think, and that would work too. Make sure you have it enabled. But to find this number here, you want to go over to your start thing and type in run. Oh, run, not ROM. Um, that's from a thing. And this remembers everything you have. So type in CMD and then OK. And hello, my name's Greg. But what we have here is this little um, administrative prompt thing. Um, and what you do after you're done with um, when you want to search the number, type in o uh, I P C O N F I G I P config, and then press enter. And a whole bunch of numbers should spam right on your screen instantaneously. And you find either if you're using wireless or an Ethernet cord like I am, you will see that there's an IPv4 address, and that is the same first, like, f say, like 192 was one digit because there's a period in between. So the, the first three digits are the exact same thing as over here. So let me bring that back up here. So we have this, and there's a whole bunch of other things here. Make sure you're not using one from Hamachi or something like that because that won't work. And you obviously see that there's not the 192.168. Um, well, I'm not also, I'm not exactly sure. Just type, uh, no. First, you have to, instead of just not 192, 
1.168.1.1, make sure that you're using that correctly because the default gateway is what you type in into the internet browser. So make sure you do that and then it was it could be the first three digits. But these 111 is the assigned code from whatever my the, the whatever the router gave it to you. See, with my iPhone, I think it's like 216 or something. It's kind of random, but I have that, and it's 111. So it's perfectly fine here, and I just clicked out of that. So basically, that's it. Um, so you see, it's pretty simple. You really just need to find on your thing uh, the only hard parts about this, uh, and then you just save settings. Uh, the only hard part about this is getting the username and stuff all correct and um, making sure that you're using the right one and having this number here. But it's not really that hard. So if you need any help, please ask me in the comments. Um, describe your situation and I'll, I'll try really hard to make sure that you are set and you're able to do whatever you want to do. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.